I'm James Hendricks and I'm the volunteer fire chief for the Herald Fire Protection District. Our residential burn permits um, allow you to burn a single 10 foot round pile no higher than four feet tall. Uh, we want you to scrape 30 feet around your burn pile um, to bare earth. Um, we don't want you to till it into the ground. We want it uh, scraped flat so that if embers leave the burn pile onto the ground outside of it, you can see them and put them out. The uh, appropriate safety measures for burning are to one, always be in attendance and have a cell phone uh, so that you can call us should you have a problem. Um, we would like you to have a shovel with you at all times. Uh, you can have either two um, uh, fire extinguishers with you, two A10BC extinguishers, or a hose with a nozzle. Um, our burn permits are free and you can get them every year at our office on Ivy Road. Um, we just ask that you call first uh, before you come down to get your burn permit to make sure that we're in the office. We're an all-volunteer fire department, so we might not be there. So we want to make sure that when you show up, you can get your burn permit. Um, and we issue it from that day till December 31st of that year. In Sacramento County, it's actually only the south end of the county that you can uh, use a residential burn permit anymore. Um, it's primarily banned in the north end of the county. So we're one of the few agencies that um, issues burn permits and allows residential burning. It's us, uh, CSD, which is the Consumnes Community Services District, um, uh, Wilton Fire Protection District, the Cortland Fire Protection District, the Walnut Grove Fire Protection District, uh, Isleton Fire Protection District, and River Delta Fire Protection District, I believe are the only ones that uh, issue burn permits as well. Both. Uh, the Herald Fire Protection District and the Wilton Fire Protection District um, share responsibility with uh, CAL FIRE and they have a state responsibility area that lies east of Clay Station Road and it actually requires a separate burn permit um, that you can obtain from them online or we issue those burn permits as well in our office. Um, those burn permits allow you to burn a smaller pile, uh, it's only four feet round and ten feet scraped around it to bare earth and they actually stop burning sooner in the year based on the anticipated weather that year. So we stop all burning from August 1st to October 31st in, in our district. Um, they may stop it as early as June. Um, you have to contact them or get on their website to see when that's going to happen that year. If you decide to burn um, that day what you need to do is call uh, the Air Quality Management District in Sacramento County um, and they have a recorded, what they call a recorded burn line. Uh, that line tells you if you can burn that day based on the anticipated weather. And uh, you usually will be able to burn by 10 and it has to be out completely by five. The burn permit allows you to, or puts out a, a specific set of, of rules that we have um, that allow you to burn safely in, in the district and actually to help protect the homeowner should, the, should you have a problem. At least you're able to show your insurance company that, hey, I, I followed a set of rules. We would like you to burn and burn safely. 